is a volleyball nation very much on the rise. Vital Heinen, the head coach, the Belgian head coach of Poland. Iran's start to this tournament has been nothing short of spectacular. Top of the standings after seven matches, having never won a medal at one of the big four FIVB tournaments. But there's many miles left on the road to Chicago and many obstacles still standing in their way. Tonight, Poland need to dig deep to stop the Iranian freight train plowing its way to the final six. The reigning world champions rocked by results, injuries and potentially this electric atmosphere. This could prove a pivotal weekend for both. The noise swelling inside this arena for the opening serve from Janusz. And the opening point abruptly goes the way of Iran. will have their first serve with Ali Shafai, the 27-year-old middle blocker. Had five points in yesterday's win. Schnifka from the far side. I said he was going to be fresh. And he got plenty of energy to put into that hit. Only came on for the final set yesterday, scored just the one point. The 24-year-old wing spiker is on serve now. Back set to the near side, an arrow down to the deck from Gaffour. Wasting little time in getting going. Iran's top scorer. Had a match-high 16 points in yesterday's big win when he converted 12 of his 21 attack hits. Had a couple of, stu couple of stuffs and a couple of aces, so watch out for him on serve now. Commentator's curse as Gaffour fires it straight into the net, 2-2. Again to Gaffour, this time had the defensive door slammed in his face by Poland. Four stopped by the huge Polish block. Tomasz Four now the 21-year-old with the decisive touch. Double joust at the net. Set from way back, tipped over the top of the block by Fayazzi. Poland to the far side, fired towards the back of the court. Did it get a touch? Poland is saying yes. The officials in Iran are saying no. And straight away, Vital Heinen is going to challenge the call. He was really upset yesterday with the officiating on a couple of occasions. That was born out of the frustration of the performance, though, of his team. He was really upset with a number of his young players. He acknowledges that it is a young roster, but he still feels that he should be getting more out of them. Russia raised the bar in sets 2, 3 and 4 yesterday after Poland had taken the lead in that match. Iran came into today as the bar in this competition, top of the standings. There was a block touch. Hard to see even on those pictures, but the officials have had confirmation. So the challenge successful and Poland lead by two. A 20 year old Norbert Huber serving. Oh, did that drop onto the baseline? It was very close, just didn't quite drop quickly enough. Huber, one of a number of Polish players who only made his senior international debut at the start of this tournament.
Tandem attack coming in. Four nails from this near side to fire it with Fizz to the backcourt. Tomas Fournell, I mentioned in the introductions, had six points in the first set on his senior debut. In the first match of the opening weekend, he's taken his tally up to 29 overall now. What a big hit from Iran's big star, Amir Gafour, getting them within one. That really was a super spike from Iran's superstar. Two for Gafour already. A couple of serves for Iran into the net already. And uh, Poland back up by two. For now to serve next. The roof to the far side. The point for Ibanipour. Not just Iran's third, or the tournament's third best receiver, but also Iran's fourth top scorer in this competition. A spike success rate over 40%. Court attack off the block for the score for Poland. And you can tell how much each and every point means to them, to this young team, to try and build confidence. Lukasz Kaczmarek, one of three 24 year olds in the starting lineup. Carol Quas, the most experienced player, is 29, has played at the World Championships and the Olympics. His serve fielded in the backcourt and hit with power from a body pour on this near side this time. Real all round at me, Laddie Body Big on offense, one of the very best on defense. Not a bad serve either. Poland deal with it. Maruf tightening the abs to stop the big drive down the line. They have to recover on the far side. Now Poland a chance to really get on top on the rally if they can coordinate this. Huber stopped. The set from a Ibadipour across to the near side off the top of the block. Gafour with a hat-trick early on. Poland had two big opportunities to finish the rally. Iran were ready for them both. Buddy Paul's bullet to the serve to the baseline. And Poland able to deal with it and fire back. It is the road team who take the slenderest of leads, heading into the first technical timeout of the first set. Poland lead, 8-7. to seven. Marcin Janusz to serve for Poland again here. Up by one off the back of the technical timeout, eight to seven. 
Janusz Nesetta, who's in for the injured Jegorz Womac. Fornals with the set across to the far side and off the block for the score for Kaczmarek. Poland up by two. They're holding their own so far. Janusz, the 24-year-old on serve, only made his senior international debut at the start of this tournament as well. Serves into the net this time. Coach Vital Heinen seemed happy enough that he would have young attack hitters and young blockers as long as the offence was facilitated by the experienced setter, Zegors Womac. And uh, that plan quickly crumbled when Womac got injured after the first set yesterday. The first set that Poland won, and then they lost three straight after Janusz came in as the replacement. Schliffka drilling that one down the line, and Poland have opened up a little bit of breathing room. Just a little. They are keeping their noses in front for now. Schliffka with a couple of points already. Catch Marek with four already for Poland to lead all scorers. Gafour with three leads the way for Iran. Gafour tipping. Saved though by Gruszczynski, the Libro for Poland. Gafour will set this time. To the center, Sayed stopped as well. And again, shut down Sayed. Poland putting up a big defensive wall, no way through for Iran. Three different players setting, two different players having a go. Nobody could find the right equation to breach the Polish barricades. Schliffka serves into the net, though. Neither team really able to build momentum at any point so far. Kefour on serve. Two aces, remember, yesterday for him. That was a wicked serve right back to the corner. Dealt with well enough. The second pass was a really good one. Oh, stretching every fibre of his fingertips was Fayazi. Off the high set from Marouf. Did really well. Look how high that set is, and he was able to squeeze it between the arms of Kaczmarek. He couldn't get over the top of it, Fayazi, but he was able to at least reach it and then angle it appropriately and effectively. They ran from three down, a back within one, with Gafour on serve still. <laughs> Serving into the net this time. Absolute elation from Poland for each and every point they win. You can palpably see the stress that they are under as a team and as a nation to try and avoid this difficult position that they found themselves in here in week three. Sayed Mohamed Musavi. In fact, it's Perja Fayazi who serves and serves too long. A number of errors on serve for both teams early on here. Four faults each, in fact, on serve. Court set to Gafford. Did he find a piece of the court? 
decision is that he did. It's not a decision that everybody agrees with. Poland for the second time in the first half of the first set are going to challenge. They were successful on the first challenge. It's a very prominent whack of the finger from coach Vitel Heinen will tell you how confident he is in challenging again. Well, that is a waste of a challenge. Or is he saying there was a touch rather than the ball being in or out? Because that is clearly out. Did they challenge for the wrong thing? Coach Hainan is not happy whatsoever. Not the first time we've seen that this weekend. The officials are... Talking to a few of the Iranian players. There seems to be a bit of confusion as to what the situation is here. Poland up by three points as it stands. We're going to have a timeout while we get everything sorted out. Poland 14 is the score. Poland doing what they have to do so far in this difficult environment, these difficult conditions, in this cauldron of noise. A place that erupts with the snapshot facilitated by Marouf on top of the net for Sayed. Say it's first point it won't be followed by a second as he serves long beyond the baseline. He'll go to the bench for his troubles as well. Falling one point away from the second technical timeout of the first set. Marouf back set for the backcourt attack, serving up a facial this time was Gaffour. Fourth point for Gaffour. And around back within two. And the setter and captain, Saeed Marouf, with a tremendous assist. And now he's on serve. The Shak serve reception forces the reach over from Poland, which gives the point to Iran. The serve reception was too long. It tempted those Polish players in the front line to go for it. Roof serving again. Returned with interest. A firecracker from the front court. And Poland do have a lead heading into the technical timeout. 16-14.
as if this 6,000 capacity crowd needed riling up any further. They've been making some noise since some time before the opening serve. Coach Marek's been doing his very best to try and keep them quiet with his four points for Poland to lead them in scoring. Level with the four. Of Gafour for Iran. Poland up by two. Cross to serve. Had to be set from nearly on the baseline. Schlivka forces it over. Baniport to hit it against the block. Two or three of them got in touch but couldn't do anything with it. Ibani pours third point. What a serve from Ibani Poor as well, but what a reception. Back to the baseline, but just too long from Kachmarek. 16 16, a rat level from three down. Badipur serving ever so well so far in this match. And we are going to have a timeout. 16 16. Vital Heinen led Poland to become world champions last year. He previously led Germany to fifth at the 2012 Olympics and bronze at the 2014 World Championships. And then you had 150 caps as a player for Belgium. There's Amir Gafour's stat line leading the way for Iran so far with his four points. All of them off attack hits. Banipour not too far behind with three as he lines up another serve whips it to the baseline as the Mexican wave whips around this arena off the top of the triple block quick set on hand set for the snapshot Maruf pulling all the strings a run from three down have the lead the running set Getting his hitter isolated against the single blocker. <laughs> Badi pause run at the baseline comes to an end though with that serve into the net. They had scored three consecutive points around. Perfect setting position. And four another score. I think there was a fault from Poland. But Gafour buried the hit anyway. Ali Shafai up next to serve for Iran. is set, Huber stopped at point-blank range, Schlifka far side against the top of the triple block, back set to the far side and a touch on the hit from Fayazi, he ran up by two. Let's see if we can see this touch here, Fayazi, somebody in the net touched it, maybe even in the backcourt. We are going to have another timeout as Poland try to get back on track.
And they've used their last timeout already in this opening set. They ran still with one. Should they require it? Coach Vital Heinen for Poland, leaving a lot of the instructions, a lot of the talking to his assistants. Now it's the thunderclap reverberating around this arena in support of a team that have made a thunderous start to this campaign. The serve flies past four now. Who found it difficult to deal with. A chance really for a run now to get on top. Fayazi far side, there was certainly a touch on that one. A run up by three now. In the ascendancy. And Poland are puzzled. Yet another isolation to get an attack hitter against a single blocker. Maruf's average of 8.5 running sets per set is significantly the best in the competition. They're targeting 4-0 on those serves. It slips through his grasp again. Kept alive, now a chance for Poland to get on top of the rally, rather fortuitously, and Kokonowski, who came in off the bench, gets a point. Iran failing to capitalise on that poor serve reception. Encouragement from his teammates for Alexander Schlivka, who picks up the loose ball and goes to serve next on the baseline. Poland know that time is running out for them to put together a run. Up by Hazrat Poor and down emphatically by Sayed. Ran by three again and only four points away from taking the first set. Another running set from Maruf, but it was a really good serve reception from Hazrat Poor to get it back to him on the net. Over the top of Kokonowski this time, and Fornell was denied. How about the big-time block from one of Iran's big, big stars? Look at this, Maruf rising to the roof. The smallest player on the roster. Kokonowski to serve for Poland to try and capitalize on that poor serve from Gafour. The roof to the far side, touched past the block. They close the angles well over the top of the double block. Maruf gets down to it. Hit again by Fayazi. Arrow to the side of the court. Fayazi with four. Only Gafour has more. And Iran a four clear. The triple block was as tight as it could be, but Fayazi still found a way. Tandem attack. Folek with the finish, in off the bench and in with a bang. Poland's leading scorer in yesterday's defeat with 15 points. Converted 13 out of 26 attack hits, stuffed a couple of blocks as well. Coach Marek, their leading scorer so far today with four points, goes to the baseline to serve.
finished that to perfection, but Fayazi was right behind it. Gafour somehow kept alive. It looked like Gafour had killed it. Fayazi certainly did. Poland surviving one attack and had little time to regroup and dig in for the next. Iran showing their muscle right now. Blow after blow, knocking Poland back. And now four set points for the hosts. Farhad Gayami on serve. Only a brief appearance off the bench yesterday. A player who's got the second biggest spike reach on the Iranian roster. The hosts are red hot in this red hot atmosphere. It's Iran who take the first set and do so in spectacular fashion. These fans playing a big part and their team bringing their A game yet again. Iran take the first set over the reigning world champions Poland by 25 points to 20. See warming up on the far side, David Konarski wearing the number three for Poland. It may well be his time to come in. Iran went from strength to strength in that first set after Poland put in a really good shift to start, but Iran started to overpower them. Seven more points on spikes to counteract the fact that they gave Poland three more off their own errors. But Iran after they did find their feet early on, were dominant. Five points so far for Peryat Fayazi for Iran, helping to lead the charge here against the defending world champions. Five as well for Gafour, the joint top scorers in this match, both on the Iranian side of the floor. A 25-20 first set in their favour. They've only looked better and better the longer this one's gone on. Poland now have to regroup, refocus and respond. Lukasz Kaczmarek leads them with four points. Nobody else has more than two. The run have won nine of their last ten Nations League matches. They get the first point of the second set in this one as well. The only exception in that run 
the 3 2 defeat to Brazil on match day four last Friday. Poland just four and three overall in this competition. They started six and one after seven matches last year. And in fact, they didn't suffer their second defeat until the tenth match when they fell to eight and two. They've got the first couple of points in this second set, though. That's an illustration of how desperate they are for the win. They finished last year with a 10 and 5 record overall in the first round, made it to the final six. They've scored the first three points of set two. Firing at the moment. And a big shift in momentum already between the first and second sets. Ballyport off the top of the net, having scored four points in the first set. Roof across to Feyazi, another for Poland. They're bridging the gaps defensively. They're looking to bridge the deficit in the score. Having lost the first set, they've scored the first four points of the second. And Iran call a timeout before they've even registered a point in set two. This has been a near perfect response so far from Poland. Will it continue after the timeout, though? Igor Kalakovic, the Montenegrin head coach of Iran, with a message or two to his players to try and solve the problems that Poland are posing. And set right on top of the net, tipped over the block. Great recovery, though, by the Polish libero. And then squeezed through the double block by Kvolek. Five without reply at the start of set two for Poland. Bartosz Kvolek has come in off the bench and scored a couple of points now. Poland have rejigged the lineup quite a bit and are finding some joy because of that. Livka to serve. To try and keep this run going, and he does so with an ace. And Poland have aced the start of this second set. Six without reply now. Schlivka's second ace already. an emphatic way for Iran to finally get on the board. It just had to be Amir Gafour. Tremendous arch on the back, though, with that back set providing the opportunity. Shafai to serve. Iran have a big gap already to overcome. And that'll help them along their way. Millimeters making the difference. It could so easily have been a touch lower and dropped down on their side of the net. Two in a row for Iran. Still four behind.
Alex Marek shut down. The rally will continue. Slivka sets to the far side. Kovolek for the score. And Poland putting the brakes on any attempted Iranian comeback. Kovolek with three points now off the bench. Squeezed it off Gafour. And we're claiming something. Was off the head of Gafour and out of bounds. Kokonovsky serve. Snapshot. The on hand set from Marouf. The finish from Sayed. They unloaded that offense far too quickly for Poland to even think about forming some kind of a block. Four to serve, four points the deficit. Now what a serve. Rocking Gruszczynski back against the ropes. But boy, did they bounce back Poland with a big blow of their own. They're up by five at the technical timeout of set two. And that was some serve from Iran, but what a reception from the 21-year-old Polish Libro wearing the number eight jersey, JJ Kruszczynski, who made his senior debut at the start of this year's Nations League tournament. He's going to be switched now with Jakub Popivczak, the other Libro coming in, another player who only started his international career at the start of this tournament. A couple of years older, though. Catch Marek's serve, five points, the lead for Poland. Cross-court set all the way through to Feyazi, who puts the finishing touch on that textbook serve reception. Fayazi on serve leads all scorers in the match now with six. A quick response from Poland through Karol Kwas. Had six points yesterday, the middle blocker, when he converted five out of nine attack hits. Poland back up by five. Folek serve. Stretching set this time from Marouf, but boy did he do well to get there and to direct it and put it right on a plate for the super spike. Iran's joint best server, Sayyad Mohamed Musavi. Clips the top of the net. And that's too far beyond Feyazi, who couldn't get high enough to keep it alive. It was deflected at the net, which took it too high for him. I think he was off Shafai at first there, off his left hand from Kwas. And then beyond Feyazi in the backcourt. Is served too long. A real pattern emerging now. Neither team able to hold serve, so we're alternating between a four and five point differential in this second set. Maruf serve, fielded by Kvolek. Back set to this near side backcourt attack. 
The body ball. Did it get a touch? Yes, it did. Terranian point. So finally, they break that trend and hold serve to close the gap to three. Five points now for Abadipur. Big kick from Kokonovsky. Just picked his spot inside of this near sideline. He was Poland's second top scorer in last year's Nations League. He's been their best blocker so far this year. Had a team second best 12 points yesterday, including four stuff blocks. Another quick on hand set for Shafai. Maruf always, nearly always at least, seems to pick the right option. And does it with such finesse and accuracy and technique. Time serve, fielded so well on the baseline. Now was that in? That's the big question. Tremendous dive from the Libero to keep it alive. It looked like it was going to be an ace. And both sets of players, both coaches, stating their case here. Let's have a look. It flashes, even in slow motion past the line to make it so difficult to tell. Such a good job we have the technology to help us find out. It's a near impossible decision to make. On one view in real time. And there is conclusive evidence that it was in. Polish point. Lifka to serve. The roof back set to the far side. And there is Gafour to take his tally to seven. Buried by Kvolek down the line. And Poland really are holding off at arm's length the challenge of Iran. They've done so well to initially create the breathing room here in the second set and then to maintain it. Kokonovsky to serve. We've seen some really good serving in this second set from both teams. And we've seen consistently some really good attack hitting from Amir Gafour, not just today, but through the whole tournament. He's up to eight points already. Gafour's serve now. Drops it. Two of them went for it. They have to get back in position. Back set, coming in, far side, Gafour denied. Great dig from Kaczmarek. He'll tip it over the top of the triple block. Tremendous rally, this one. Maruf, this time to Sayad for the Iranian score. Iran looking to make their big push here in set two. Maruf running the show, Gafour's serving and attack kits, knocking Poland back. And then Sayed delivering the decisive blow. And it's time for a timeout. 
as Poland look to continue to do what they have been doing for so long and hold off the challenge of Iran. Understand a couple of things. We have to keep serving. So follow, you also need a jump serve. Because all I just said, maybe one, two jump serve and then try to do the seven. The first couple of jump serves. This man is serving okay, Tokin is okay. Good. And that's all guys. Ah, that's good. 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 Poland having to contend not just with the top-ranked team in the tournament heading into today, but with this atmosphere, this hostile atmosphere, very much against them and very much in support of the opposition. And the fact that they lost their star setter to injury yesterday as well and brought a young roster here, many big names missing for various reasons. They still have the lead, but Iran doing their very best to close the gap. Poland doing their very best to hold the hosts at bay. Kvolek has been a key part of that, up to six points now to lead Poland in scoring. Sayed from an awkward looking position away from the net, helping that one beyond the baseline. Poland one point away from reaching the technical timeout. And the timeout they took seems to have helped. Just slow around who were building momentum. Fayazi into the block and it drops just out of bounds for an Iranian point. Fiazzi up to eight, which ties him level with Gafour as the leading scorer in the match. That one's going to land in, surely. That's what Poland is saying. Looked like one or two Iranians let it go. So we may well have another challenge here. Point given to Iran. And Poland will challenge that decision. They've been successful with a few challenges already. It was certainly in. Vitel Hayden saying uh, I think that he shouldn't really have to challenge there's been a few decisions that have been comfortably in his team's favor and Poland up by four at the technical timeout Get the feeling that Iran are doing everything they possibly can to try and bridge this gap that was created relatively early in this second set by Poland, but they've not been able to. Everything they throw at Poland, Poland find a way to repel. And now we move on to the final stretch. A huge set for Poland. Not just in the scope of this match, but in the scope of this tournament for them. If they were to lose this set and go down two sets to love, it would be a mountain to climb. And the prospect of falling to four and four 
their record after eight matches. Oh, that one might have found a piece of the baseline. That's what Iran is saying. Poland made the decision to get out the way of it. Was that the correct decision or not? Iran are going to challenge. Well, the evidence be as conclusive as it was just a few moments ago. When Poland made a challenge, it is conclusive. The call on the field was correct. The serve was out, and Poland a backup by four. First looks can be deceiving. Ram were convinced it found a piece of the baseline, it did not. Quick thinking from Marouf, quick defence from Poland. Marouf sets more orthodox this time, and the hit from Gafour. It's OK getting within three. They need to put together a run. Gafour within touching distance of double figures now. Saeed Marouf has been a really good server for them so far. Off balance hit beyond the baseline for an Iranian point. They're back within two. They hold serve. Now a chance. Really presents itself to build momentum. Saeed Marouf to serve again. Yanush with the set for the backcourt hit from Kaczmarek, who was able to fire it through the defence to alleviate a bit of tension, a bit of pressure that was building on Poland. Piotr Kasik has come in for Poland to the starting lineup. To the current lineup, Marouf with the set, tandem attack, Gafour off the shoulder of Janusz. It's kept alive on the far side. A chance to reload and to fire again from the backcourt. This time Fayazi stopped. Poland hard to penetrate. Gafour's tip onto the double block. Marouf back to Gafour, had to help it over. Now the momentum shifts in the rally. Catch Marek against the triple block for the score. Great, great defence, leading to offensive productivity for Poland. Well, oh, there were two fabulous actions on defence for Poland there. Gafour off the shoulder, it almost hit the roof before dropping down on the far side. And then there was a great save after that as well. Fayazi's hit, dug out superbly down on the deck in the backcourt by the Polish Libro Popivczak. Iran tried to make it third time lucky, but the Polish blockers were there. The rally went on and on, and Kaczmarek was able to get it to go off the right hand of Shafai out of bounds. Pivotal points, perhaps, at a pivotal point of this second set. Kokonovsky in the way. He'll go again. Gafour threads the eye of the needle with power. Ten points for Amir Gafour, which is four more than anyone on the Polish side of the floor. Ibadi poor serve. 
Too much on it. Poland at the 20 point mark with a four point edge in this second set. They're really spreading their scoring around. A couple of players on six, one on five, a couple on four. Crucially, though, they've had four more points off errors of their opponents throughout the course of the match. Iran will not give up hope on this second set, though. Not just yet. Poland is showing such resilience, it is difficult to see where an Iranian comeback is coming from. Kokonovsky with a cracker. Off the quick set of Marcin Janusz. Poland by four and only four points away now. Kokonovsky up to five points off the bench. A pipe bomb from a bunny port. Down the centre from the backcourt. It's no good to Iran at this stage, though, to just trade points. The chances to produce the run they need are disappearing fast, especially after that serve. You have to give Poland great credit in this second set responding after Iran's finish to the first set, which was so dominant. Marek served too long, well ducked. Three points the gap again. It is still far too close for comfort for Poland, but they don't really look phased by the challenge that's in front of them. Those expressions and that body language admirable for such a young and inexperienced team. They're standing tall, and they're standing up to the test of a team that came in as the standings leaders. Fayazi to serve for Iran. Back set for the backcourt attack from Kaczmarek, who continues to do the damage. Seven points now to lead Poland in scoring for the number five. They're only two points away from tying this match at one set each. There's a change of setter for Iran with Saeed Marouf going to the bench. Shalput coming in for Poland, serving and then deflecting that one out of bounds for an Iranian score. This is it really now, the run has to be here for Iran. If Poland win the next point, they have four set points. If Iran win the next point, it may well entrench the seed of doubt in the minds of those in Polish colours. Farhad Gayami in to serve for Iran in place of Sayed Mohamed Mousavi. Little to no room for error. And he fires it straight into the net. It is four set points for Poland. Carol Quas to serve. 
Maruf back in with the set. And Ballyport with the big right-handed blow. The first of four set points saved. Now Iran have to win one on their own serve. Have to win three on their own serve. The set right on top of the net. Kept alive by Maruf on the three-metre line. Had to help it over, though. Poland can go again. Kokonovsky stretching and scoring and winning the set for Poland. What a response from the world champions. Poland take the second set by four points, 25-21 to tie the match at one set each. And now we go to a pivotal third set. As Poland continue to fight shorthanded with this young roster to keep themselves very much in final six contention. Welcome back to the Algadir Sports Complex, where it's now one set apiece. Poland winning 25-21 in the second. One more point on spikes, one more on serve, and one more off the errors of their opponents. That has been key throughout. Iran committing a number of errors. Poland able to capitalise. Overall, Poland have had five more points off errors of their opponent. And... Uh, We'll see some highlights here of that second set. on their feet to try and get behind their team. As uh, Rand need to come back strong now in set three. This is crucial, this third set, because whichever team loses it is faced with the prospect of needing to win back-to-back -back sets to win the match, but also knowing that they lose the opportunity to take maximum points in the standings. And that could prove pivotal when the preliminary round is all said and done. The competition is so fierce for one of those top five places to join the host, the USA, at the final six in Chicago next month. Schlifka arching his back, kept up by Gruszczynski. And then back for the score for Iran. Off the save of Hazrat Port, Iran land the first blow of the third set. Squeezes it home to tie the score. 1-1 in the third, 1-1 on sets. I touched briefly before the opening serve on the importance of this in terms of the head-to-head -head between the two. 
Poland, one of the teams that Iran are hoping to squeeze out of the final six to take their place at the showpiece event. And that makes the difference between a win in four sets and a win in five sets significant, extra significant. If you think that whichever one of these teams was to win in four sets, would get three points to their opponent, zero. If it goes to five sets, then it's only two points to one, so it's only a one-point difference rather than a three-point difference if it does go down to one of these teams or the other at the end of the 15-match preliminary round. I've seen a significant number of challenges particularly from Poland in this match already. For the most part, Vitel Heinen has had the answers that he's wanted. Challenge was for a net touch. And there is no evidence of that. The reaction of the Iranian fans will tell you it's their point. His expression will tell you it's not Poland's. That one is though, 2-2. Two -two. Iran have now had 13 faults on serve to Poland's seven. A big difference in that regard. Maruf with the back set for the backcourt attack, a four into the net, but he gets the score. A touch off Kvolek, perhaps, to carry it out of bounds. Let's have a look. Kvolek just getting a piece of it, as well as the top of the net. It's 11 points now for Gafour. from Bartosz Kvolek. Seven points, it's coming in off the bench for him now. Poland's leading scorer yesterday. Kaczmarek serving deep. A roof setting from deep. Double block there for Poland. It took two to keep it alive for Iran, but they're able to succeed in doing so. Now a chance to get on top of the rally. Maruf set, stretching backcourt attack from Sayed. Here come Poland against the block for the score for catch Marek. Fantastic rally. And it's Poland, as has been the case on several of those mega rallies, coming out on top. The world champions continue to show their resilience. Marek serving into the net though, 4-4. Another error on serve for Iran. Frustrating for Sayad. Those errors continue to rack up. The 21-year-old Bartosz Kvolek has been one of the sparks for Poland's turnaround here. Maruf trying to squeeze one home and commits the fault. Saeed Maruf looking for the old quarterback sneak, the playmaker. Touch the net, though. 
And there's no sneaking past this Poland defence. Backcourt comes Gafford to do what Gafford does. 12 points for him now. Around back within one. It's 119 points in the competition for Amir Gafford. Catch Marek though has hit double figures. The first Polish player to get there, not too far behind Gafford. Only converted five of his 24 spike attempts in yesterday's defeat. He's the personification of Poland's turnaround. All ten of his points so far today, Kaczmarek, have come from attack hits. point out of bounds off the block that time as they try and delay the technical timeout the body poor serve well fielded Kokonovsky hits it the chance for Iran to set off the top of the block back set for the backcourt attack far side deflected over but out of bounds and Poland reached the technical timeout in the pivotal third set with a two-point edge over Iran Talk about the Polish turnaround between last night's defeat to Russia and tonight's performance so far against Iran. And their turnaround from losing the first set here to responding in sets two and three. Well, what a turnaround overall Iran have made from last year to this. They've got a six and one record coming into today, which is just one win shy of their total for wins from last season's competition when they finished with a 7-8 and eight record. Behind the performance of Amir Gafour, they're hoping to go to 7-1 and one with a victory here tonight. Poland doing their very best to deny them that. Fayazi had it stuffed back in his face. Poland up by three. A block that quietens this crowd as much as it's been quietened at any point this weekend. Kayami in for Fayazi. Marcin Janusz to serve for Poland. Pinball on the Iranian side of the court, unable to deal with what seemed a relatively tame serve. And that's going to force a timeout called by Igor Kalakovic. Ran on a three match winning streak. Just one defeat from seven. So far, a five match winning streak on home soil in world level major competitions. 
But here they are, pushed back by Poland, who for all of their issues through the course of this weekend have dug deep and shown real character and real maturity for a team so young, led by Łukasz Kaczmarek today, so far with his 12 points. Fort leading the way for Orando with his 14 now. Three points the gap. Ali Shafai to serve next for Oran. Never before have they won a medal at a World Cup, a World Championships, an Olympics, or a World League. They're back within two here as they look to win a medal eventually at the Nations League. This competition overtaking, replacing the World League with its first edition last year as one of the four biggest tournaments on the international calendar. Iran did win a bronze at the fifth biggest event on the calendar. Their biggest success so far at the World Grand Champions Cup a couple of years ago. That was uh, the first big indication that this is a team and a, a nation on the rise in this sport. A number of key players for them are either at their prime or hitting their prime. In any sense, this is their moment. This is their time to pounce. To finally get one of those medals, one of those places on the podium, at one of those big, big events. This is a big, big test against the world champions, Poland. More conclusive evidence on that video challenge with the ball planted squarely onto the baseline. Or the sideline, rather, from Schliwka. Polish point. Polish lead in set three. Now they're claiming for a reach over Iran. The point awarded to Poland to a now up by four. The difference between a 5 3 record and a 4 4 record for Poland at this stage of the preliminary round is huge. The opportunity to close ground on Iran, who are one of the teams above them. Closing this gap to three again. And that's for a round to think that they have Russia to come tomorrow evening. Russia, the defending champions of this competition who were so good earlier on this court. If a round could hold off the challenge of Poland here, that could be the boost they need to go on and take their place eventually in Chicago. Folek and Poland coming back swinging after a difficult start to this match. Eight points now for Poland's number 18. Kokonowski's serve mismeasured. Gayami to serve for a round, the 29-year-old wing spiker. And that was a really good one. Well fielded by Popovchat, though. No 
the roof with the quick set to say and look what it means to Iran to close this gap down to a couple of points. The fans have found their full voice again as well. What a reaction from Sayed. Gayami to try and keep the momentum going. Locked and loaded. And firing so well, Schlivka dug it out. Big block from Sayed. Iran's number six stepping up to the plate. Fans on their feet in Amir. Poland calling a timeout to try and take the wind out of the Iranian sails. Poland led by four points at eight to 12. They were pegged back to 12 to 13 until that way would serve. Iran not quite able to complete the comeback just yet. And now Poland's top scorer on the baseline, Łukasz Kaczmarek. Roof, plenty of options available, and one of them coming in from the backcourt was Kayami. Say so had to serve. Playing a key role in this comeback, and what a serve to the back corner. Catch Marek keeps it alive over the top of the advertising board. Poland have to dig deep on defense again, trying to withstand that big blow. Popov Chak kept it alive. Here they come again, third time lucky perhaps. The Polish defense standing up to the tests so far. Maruf, another quick attack. Finally, a point for Iran. Finally, they're back level. Wave after wave of Iranian offense crashing against the Polish defense. And Iran riding a wave of momentum generated by the wave of noise coming from all around this arena. Poland did everything they possibly could to keep themselves in the rally. At no point, though, did they get on top, and Iran just kept on coming. And the sense is very much in this building that Iran are coming for Poland right now. They can breathe a huge sigh of relief, those in red and white. They have the slenderest of leads back in this all-important third set. Bartosz Kvonek to serve next. And to serve too long, 15-15. The next point takes us in to the second technical timeout. Who's going to have the lead? Saeed Marouf to serve for a round.
off the top of the double block. Can they recover near side? Yes, they can. Ibadi Paul denied by a big Polish defensive wall. Three blockers given time to get tight. And Poland have the lead at the technical timeout. Iran recovered from a four-point deficit to get level. Poland have squeezed themselves back ahead. And they've had to brace themselves for big attacks from the likes of Sayed, who's up to eight points. It's certainly been a better Polish performance than the one we saw here against Russia yesterday. Will it be enough, though, against a rampant Iranian side looking to win a fourth straight match here in this competition? Back level at 16-16 now. A body port to serve. Backcourt attack far side against the body of a body port. And there's a fault on the Iranian side of the floor that they're not happy with. The point given to Poland. And a clear indication there from coach Kilakovic that they are challenging this call. Each and every point so, so significant at this point in the match. The finish line is in sight for both teams in this third set. He challenges for a net touch. The video says there was not one. Was that? It looked like there may have been a touch, although we're seeing no. The rally was stopped, the point given to Poland because of a touch on the net. Igor Kalakovic, the head coach for Iran, challenging to say there wasn't a touch. Vital Heinen clearly saying there was. can tell how significant each and every point is because both sets of players, both head coaches, so desperate for this point. Which team is going to have the lead? It's a deafening atmosphere at the al Qadir Sports Complex. At least half of these fans on their feet now. The point has been given to Iran. A body port to serve. Deflected up off the net. Helped over by Gafford. Poland can set right on top of the net. Off the top of the block. And that one is certainly a Polish point.
shot off the left hand of Kafour. Poland leading by one. Marcin Janusz to serve. Disguised instructions from his coach. Maruf kept it alive. We'll have to get back in a defensive shape with Poland to set far side inside of the double block for a score and a two point lead. Poland have been so good to respond in the face of adversity. So many problems coming into this big match today against the hosts. The most striking thing is how cool and composed they look. Janusz to serve again. Sets it from a low position. Fantastic save from Popov Jack. A roof to set up top this time for the backcourt attack. Poland not budging an inch. They'll come back strong against the double block for the score. Poland by three. Here in set three. And Iran are going to call a timeout here. Because time is running out for them to turn this around. an Iranian team learning the size of the task the level they have to aspire to it's a young Polish team learning on the job and there's a lot left to be learned over the course of the next couple of sets what a save that is over on the far side they're short-handed though Iran Poland will try and finish them off and do with Kaczmarek Poland making their big push up by four. Iran doing everything they can. Fayazi putting his body on the line. What a save, but it only delayed the inevitable. What a whack from Gaffor. His 15th point as he nails that one to the floor. And all 15 from attack hits. The roof with the back set, Gaffor. With a blink and you'll miss finish. Kokonovsky. That is money for him when he rises in that position. Poland up by four and only four points away from taking the third set. They make a change with Piotr Wukasik coming in. Alexander Schlivka, seven points so far, including two aces to lead all players in the match in that category. Feyazi with a ferocious right hand hit. The set from Maruf was from a long way back, but he put it in a perfect position for Feyazi to unload.
18-21. Gaffour to serve. Right to the baseline. Kvolek to squeeze it down the line. There's the joust. Maruf won it. Kvolek kept it alive. Hit it back against the block for the point. Bartosz Kvolek coming up big. And Poland closing in. Eighteen twenty-two now, three points away from taking the third. Deflected out of bounds off the body of Sayed. Artur Shelpuk on serve had eight points in yesterday's defeat. Poland's top scorer at last year's tournament with 126 points. He's not been anywhere near as involved this year. He's yet to score a point today. The 24-year-old facing a, an anxious wait to deliver this serve. There's a few running repairs required for Perja Fayazi. Shelpuk still wearing a smile. And Fayazi may soon be wearing a bandage. Poland of the team who came in banged up injury wise. They've done their best to batter and bruise Iran. Over sets two and three. Shelpuk's long awaited serve. Maruf just about over the top from Sayed. Krolek off the outside of the block. Another Polish point, another big step closer. One or two Iranian heads hanging. Not just around this arena, in the stands, but down on court as well. Close to conceding this third set. Boya Yali in off the bench, the 20 year old. And he can only fire into the net, and Poland have a heap of set points to get themselves ahead in the match. It would take something remarkable for Iran from here to come back and take this set. In fact, acknowledged by the substitution of leading scorer Gaffour. All in a mess, they squeeze it over. Poland looking to finish them off. To the far side, Fayazi stopped by the big Polish block. The Poles are in pole position. They come from behind to lead by two sets to one as they take the third in emphatic fashion, 25-18. Poland led by the 17 points of their number five, Łukasz Kaczmarek. Two ahead of Iran's Amir Gafour. Iran looked to be mounting a big comeback off a couple of big plays from Sayed. They closed a four-point deficit, but Poland found another gear or two to come through at the end. Lead by two sets to one. As a look at that stat line for Wukash Kaczmarek, 15 of those 17 points from attack kits, a couple of kill blocks as well. 
And what a response after converting just five out of 24 attack hits yesterday. What a response from Poland, who faded so quickly yesterday against Russia after winning the first set. They lost three sets in a row. They lost the first set of this one. They've won two in a row. And you have to feel if Poland could win this fourth set and take maximum points and start to reel in the likes of Iran in the standings, this match right at the heart of the first round could be the catalyst for the rest of their campaign. Looking to pick up right where they left off with Alexander Schlifke delivering a big southpaw blow. That's Gafour's point, tipped out of bounds, a block touch, signalled by the official. Iran came in with 19 points in the standings from seven matches. Poland had just 11, so an eight-point differential between the two teams, but a Polish win in this set will close that gap down to five points, just over the midway point of the first round. Poland then would take real momentum into a very winnable matchup with Canada tomorrow. And Iran would have to face Russia. And all of a sudden, the standings would start to squeeze together a little bit more in Poland's favour. Down the line from Gafour, he's got both of Iran's points. Here in this must-win fourth set for them, 2-2. Gafour up to 17 for the match. He's just surpassed his match-high tally from yesterday's win. Fayazi with the tip down the line. Iran back ahead. Any type of Iranian win. In this one, if they could come from behind, even winning in five sets and only claiming two points would put them back to the top of the standings ahead of Russia who won earlier today on this court. But boy, have they got their work cut out for them in trying to do that. Poland level again, 3-3. Three-meter line attack was a blistering one. A runner ahead. Fayazi firing the serve into the net. Now 16 faults on serve for Iran, just 11 for Poland. Nothing to separate these two over the first eight points of the fourth set.
Again, the three-meter line attack from the far side. Got four stop though. Sayed didn't judge that one right at the net. And Poland ahead. Back-to-back -back points for them. Bartosz Krolek to serve next for Poland. The second top scorer for them so far with 12 points behind the 18 of Kaczmarek. Whipped down the line by Gafour, unstoppable. Popov Chat did well just to get in position, couldn't do anything with it. Catch Marek adding to his impressive tally. And tying Gafour, who'd scored on the point before. 19 for each team's respective big hitter. Karol Kwas serving for Poland. Dropping one. And Fayazi recovers. And a body poor returning it strong. Saeed Marouf, the Iranian captain. The set off the three metre line falling down to the deck. There's a fault spotted and a Polish point. They're one away from the technical timeout here in this fourth set. Marcin Janusz to try and take them there. Gafour hits 20. He edges ahead of Kaczmarek. As Iran look to try and edge ahead of Poland now at the technical timeout. Hibadipour on serve. Oh, and what a serve from Milan Hibadipour. Back to the baseline with Venom. Too hot to handle for two poles. And Iran lead eight to seven at the technical timeout. Each of the first three sets in this match surpassed the half-hour mark. 31 minutes for the first two, 36 minutes for the third. And all of the early indicators suggest that we have a fourth set that is going to be just as tight. Seven for Poland, eight for Iran. Ibanipour trying to reproduce another beauty. Schlifka returning it, was it wide of the sideline or not? It was very close, close enough that we should have a challenge, and we do from around. So they've called it in. Around feel it was out.
officials were spot on that time. Eight points apiece, inseparable so far in the fourth, these two. That was pinpoint from Schlivka. Right on top of the net, Maruf did really well to steady it and to facilitate. And a ran half the lead again. Three players for both teams hitting double figures for scoring now. And they retrieve this block. It's right on top of the net, four players going for the same ball, two from each team, Kokonovsky couldn't quite catch it mid-air. Maruf across to the far side, kept up by Janusz, back towards Kaczmarek, touchdown by two Iranian players in a great position. A two-point lead, which in the scope of this fourth set is a big one, it's been that tight. Score for Poland now. Difficult to see from the angle we were looking, but Iran are fuming about something. Poland having the deficit. You see the protest straight away. to serve to try and get them level. Maruf with the quick set to Sayed. It's a trademark Iranian move. Maruf always puts them in the right position. Sayed so often finishes them. Deflected off the Iranian block. And out of bounds, so Poland within one again. The left hand of Maru from Krolek. He's the third leading scorer in this match with 14 points now. Feazzi. One too difficult to recover despite the best efforts of Poland putting bodies on the line. Fayazi up to 12 points. So to a Iran here in this must win set. as he will serve now as well averaging 0.36 aces per set coming in which uh, ranked him as Iran's joint best server along with Sayed Frolek stretching so too the Iranian blockers Maruf sets it very quickly the low trajectory the instant impact of the finish, catching Poland out. Sayed again to benefit from Maruf's playmaking. 
And ran by three, Polish timeout. with Maruf pulling the strings, facilitating the offense. Iran now have four scorers to hit double figures. Say it up to ten after that last one. Two in quick succession for him. Abadipo has ten as well. Fayazi has 12. And Gafour needs all scorers in the match with 20. Thirteen ten Iran off the back of the Polish timeout. Fayassi to serve again, trying to keep this run going. Backcourt hit, catch Marek. Say it is there, slamming the door in the face of Poland's top scorer. As Sayed shut down for Łukasz Kaczmarek. Goes again, catch Marek this time getting it to go off the block. Poland back within three. It brings to an end a run of three straight points for Iran. to think in this atmosphere. The noise continues to build as the Iranian fans try and push their team towards a finish here in the fourth. They're up by four again. Right back to the baseline to be on the dive of Karolek. Say it on serve to try and take them hurtling into the technical timeout with momentum. And they do get the score. At least initially. Poland may challenge. Would be technical timeout at 16 11 if the original call on court stands. Poland instead of being down by five will hope to be back within three and prolong that technical timeout. Communication continues between officials on court and off court. The point given to Iran off the big hit of Ali Shafai. Will that call stand? It looks like it. I thought that gave them a 16-11 lead. It may well be that we're replaying the point.
Now, did that one catch the baseline or not? Another contentious play. The officials say it didn't. So Iran do have a five-point lead at the second technical timeout of a must-win fourth set, 16-11 to them. This one has already been a roller coaster ride in the northwest of Iran. 21 points for Amir Kafour, the Iranian superstar opposite hitter, but not too far behind him. 20 for Wukash Kaczmarek of Poland. And both teams now with three scorers double figures in fact Iran have four and there is the quarterback sneak from Marouf Marouf raising the roof Iran lead by six set this time the body pulls big finish and it will register another point for Iran it looks as though we will go the distance Iran look back to their best 18 11 timeout for Poland Through the whole of this match, Iran have scored 82 points, Poland have scored 81. That tells the story of how close it's been. But it's certainly not close here in the fourth. Iran finding a second wind. An eight-point lead now as they look to force a fifth. Coach Vital Hainan's Polish team have had the wind knocked out of them by this rip-roaring Iranian response. A big hit from Tomasz Fornell. There's only a small stitch in a wide-open Polish wound. Seven points the gap, 19 to 12. Carol Foster serve. Tandem attack coming in, back court was Feyazi. Firing off the mark, back to back points for Poland. Not quite done and dusted just yet. There is room for a comeback here in the fourth. As impressive as it would be, as unlikely as it seems. The 
by Bani Paul again from close proximity, taking his tally to 13. In between Janusz and Huber. Konarski in for the first time, rifling a right-hander. He reloads, and that is beautiful. Although it drops just wide, according to the official. It looked for all the world as though Konarski, who's only just come in, was going to line up another big hit. And instead of the power, came the touch of finesse. But it fell off the mark as far as he's concerned. Not as far as coach Vital Heinen is concerned for Poland. It was in. And it was delightful. Polish point. The official overturned. Let's have a look at this beautiful finish. That is wonderful. Overhead from Janusz. Like he had eyes in the back of his head. So right hand Rasper down the line from Gafour, who's up to 22. And Rana only four away from taking the fourth. Safe to say there's been a fair few mind games through the course of this fourth set as well. It's been bitty, it's been stop start, it's been long despite being a big Iranian lead. Another challenge, and the ball is clearly in. And approaching the half hour mark in the set, despite Poland only having 14 points. to serve you have to feel Poland challenge just to try and slow Iran's momentum and uh, it may well have had the desired effect as Poland get back within six points by as many as eight at 19-11. That block from Norbert Huber landing just off the playing surface, so Iran only three points away, back up. 22-15 now. Shafai to serve. Huber against the block, deflected to the backcourt. Recovered by Popovchak, had to be helped over by Konarski. Did that get a touch? Iran saying it did. Just about every single point has been protested in some way, for some reason or another, in this set. will and the desire to win is so palpable. Konarski off the top of the block, looked like it was going to be a point, but recovered by Abadipour on the baseline, triple block, Poland. Still down by seven. 
the very least, making this fourth set scoreline look a little more respectable. Just trying to hang in the fight as long as possible to see where it takes them. The round, though, have a whole heap of set points to try and get this level and all the way to a fifth set. That's the fourth match on this court at the al Sports Complex in a round this evening. And uh, it could be the first that goes all the way to a fifth set. The Iranian retaliation takes this one the distance. A great response after losing sets two and three to Poland. Not quite complete just yet. Poland will challenge once more. Their hopes in this fourth set dangling by the slenderest of threads. Perfect stoppage to remind you that if inevitably, as it seems, we go to a fifth set, it is only first to 15 rather than first to 25. There was a block touch. It hit the net, but it hit the blocker as well. Just there, up onto the right forearm of the blocker. So this fourth set is not done just yet. So the call was that Konarski hit it off the net and out of bounds for an Iranian point. Instead, there was a touch off an Iranian blocker, which means it's a Polish point and a seven point differential. Surely, Iran are going to see this one through. Despite the best efforts and all the protests of Poland and all the video challenges. Seven more set points. Right on top of the net, Konarski off his knees to help it up. Cross to the far side against the block. Tip once more by Wu Kasik. And there is the point. 25-17 in the fourth set to Iran, and we are going the distance on this court for the first time this weekend. The final touch there off the Polish number 27, Piotr Łukasik. And Iran, after losing sets two and three, claim a must-win fourth and level this match at two sets apiece.
Brandt 25, Poland 17 in the fourth. Two sets apiece between these two. Iran dominant with their attack hitting in that set, 20 to 13. That the clear decisive factor. It's just gone 9 p.m. local time in Ermia. And uh, nobody, not a single person leaving early from this one. 6,000 strong at the Algadir Sports Complex. As Iran look for a vital victory now over the world champions Poland. There's an argument that a victory for Poland could be even more significant for them, given the ground they have to make up on the teams ahead of them in the standings. And the injuries that they had to overcome coming into this one. Badipour to start set five, a first to 15 set five. Kokonovsky to score the first point. And of course, each and every point with extra weight, extra significance now. Both teams have guaranteed one point in the standings. The winner of this fifth set will take an extra point. Two points for the winner, one for the loser here in this five-setter as Iran respond with Amir Gafour. 24 points for him now. The vast majority of this sellout crowd remaining on its feet now. Over the top of Kokonovsky this time, and coming in was Kvolek, but it was read by the defence. Kvolek's jump was a little mistimed. Back-to-back -back points for Iran to take the lead here in the fifth. Shafai to serve. Serve too long. 2-2. Two, two. We will have a change of ends when the leading team hits eight points. Michael Kokonowski to serve for Poland. And to serve straight into the net. Four with 25 points now, but he's yet to register an ace. Was it too far off there? Tipped by Catch Marek. Now, did it catch a piece of the block? Now he's convinced, isn't he? He was right under his nose. To be fair, Vital Hayden always looks convinced. So long as it's in his side's favour. The point has been given to Iran. The officials didn't see a touch off a blocker as the ball landed off the court. They will have a good long look at it to make sure. There is a block touch, clearly, off the left side of the frame of Fayazi. Now, the first referee certainly wouldn't have been able to see that from his position on the other side of the court. Maybe it happened too close to the second referee, right in front of him, which somehow, sometimes makes it more difficult. Back court hit. 
Stopped by Schlivka. And against the antenna, I think, from Krolek. That's a block for Sayed denying Kachmarek. He's not happy again. There's another Polish challenge. Five three Iran as it stands. Great to see Vitel Heinen. And the Iranian captain, Saeed Marouf, conversing with smiles on their faces, at least. The ball was into the net rather than into the block. There's a 5-3 Iranian lead with Fayazi on serve. Big backcourt hit from Kach Marek, who took a full run-up. And it was put into a perfect position for him by the young setter Yanush. Kach Marek is up to 23, and only two behind Gafour. Fonex serve. Tandem attack coming in near side to bury it was Ibanipur. Six four Iran. The first serve of this match was now over two and a half hours ago. has been a blistering box office battle between two volleyball heavyweights in this competition and they continue to trade blows long into the night in Ermia. A clear touch off the right hand of Ali Shafai, the Polish point to get back within one. Karol Kloss to serve. Gafour there again. His scoring has been so, so consistent from start to finish. As to the scoring of Poland's Kaczmarek. They have both brought their A game. Here comes the latter, catch Marek into the net this time though. A rare miscalculation from him. Two big hitting teams trading blows, two big hitting players trading blows. And Gafour coming out on top over catch Marek. Those two have swung and swung and swung. It has been an energy sapping marathon. And Iran at the moment look to have a little bit more left in the tank. They change ends with Iran up eight points to five. First to 15 in this decisive fifth set. Now, here comes David Konarski, who certainly should have plenty left in the tank. Only used off the bench late on yesterday. And only used off the bench today. 
having been Poland's joint top scorer over the first two weeks of competition. Maruf serve, fielded by Schlivka. He hits it back. The left hand lightning bolt to the back corner. Schlivka, one of three poles on double digits, now has 11. Manush to serve. Roof's back set to a baddie ball. Can they get to it? No, they can't. Crashing into the scorer's table. These two sets of players must be exhausted. But they're still both digging deep. They ran up by three again. Nine to six now, edging closer and closer. A baddie pull, one of four in double digits for Iran. 15 points. The third top scorer in this match on serve. What a serve. Well received by Krolek. Konarski shut down. Far side this time instead. Squeezed over the top and in by Feyazi. He's far from the tallest, but he does so well to compensate for that with his technique and his quick thinking and his quality. Perya Feyazi up to 14 points and a run up by four. A timeout called by Vital Hainan. Here's a look at the stat line for Amir Gafour. A match high 26 points, 25 of those coming from attack hits. And that's after a match high 16 points yesterday as well. Ibadi Port on serve. Konarski kicked up by Maruf. Even he can't deal with that one. Only Konarski's third point coming off the bench. They could do with a few more Poland from their number three. Alexander Schlefka to serve. Poland's hopes in this match and also potentially in this tournament hanging by the balance. Moran back up by four. And he shows no signs of tiring. Amir Gafour, 27 points. Iran are only four points away from winning it. Kokonovsky. It came right back at him from the block. He smashed it, but had it stuffed back in his face. He went for pure power, and he got nothing. Sayad didn't budge. This is the final roll of the dice from coach Vital Heinen to turn things around for Poland. In danger of falling to four and four, despite the 22 points of Kaczmarek.
remember they started 8-1 and one in last year's competition. Over the first nine, they could be 4-4 four and four after the first eight this year. Iran, on the other hand, what a turnaround for them. On course to make it 10 wins from their last 11 in the Nations League, stretching back to last year. They'd won just four out of 12 before that. Kokonovsky closes the gap to four. Double figures for him now, the fourth Polish player to hit that mark. Artur Szałpuk is going to come in for Kokonowski. Yet to score Szałpuk. Only a brief few seconds off the bench. And that one had a clear and big touch off the block. Iran need just two more. Gafour needs just two more to hit 30. It looks like Poland have given everything and completely ran out of steam. Feazzi into the net. No. It must have caught a piece of the block as well. Folek says no. The point given to Iran. And unless this is overturned, it is six match points for Iran now. Does it catch the left arm of Folek on the left side of the block, the near side as we're looking now? on earth are you meant to see that in real time that's the official the video will help us out as uh, we have perhaps the final challenge of many from the Polish bench now they're challenging for a block touch it could have even been a net touch there as well This jam-packed crowd has to wait just a little bit longer. The graphic is saying there was a block touch. Although we can't see the ball there, what we can see is what looks like a net touch. There's a great deal of confusion, a great deal of controversy has been a running theme throughout this marathon matchup. There's the difference between six match points for Iran and Poland closing the gap to four points. Either way, Iran are in the driver's seat of this decisive fifth set, but Poland are looking for a lifeline. Well, there you see it looks like there is a block touch, which was the call. Was there a net touch as well? And was that challenged for?
the match and the delay and the controversy continues. We have been playing for around two hours and 45 minutes. There you can see that the two areas of contention, of controversy, because there's a block touch there. There may well be a net touch as well. But angles can be deceiving as well. They have to make absolutely sure. We have a ran leading. 13 to 8 on our screen. It looks as though that will not be an Iranian point. No. They have given it to Iran. Fourteen eight is the score here in the fifth. And the protests from Poland continue. The party is getting started. The home fans on their feet. Thousands of phone lights out as well to decorate this arena, which is already a sea of green and white and red. We've been stopped for five minutes to try and get the right call. On that last point, we were seeing 14-8. Now we're seeing 13-8 again. We're none the wiser as to what position we're going to be in when play restarts. It is going to be 14-8, we think. There we go. Serve for Gafford to try and win it. Kanarski. Trying to keep Poland alive. Hit into the block. There's the point, finally. And it's Poya Yali, the 20-year-old, who scores it. Off the bench to deliver the decisive blow. Four wins in a row for rampant Iran. And six straight wins in major world-level competitions on home soil. They move to the top of the standings in the Nations League again. And they do so by beating the world champions, Poland. More than two and a half hours of playing time. Five long sets. Back and forth it went. Around taking the first. Poland the second and third. Around the fourth to take it all the way to a fifth for the first time here at the al -Ghadir Sports Complex this weekend. But they had a big winning margin in both sets, four and five. 25-17 in the fourth, despite it going for 34 minutes. And then 15-8 to eight in the fifth, which lasted for 22 minutes. Poland did everything they could to try and stay here for as long as possible this evening. But Iran once again come out on top. Iran now seven and one. After eight matches, Poland fall to four and four. Significant distance and differential put between the two nations as Iran look to displace Poland for a place at the final six in Chicago next month.
Boy, did they get their money's worth this evening. And boy, are their team performing to their maximum to try and, try and do something they have never done before. And that is place on the podium at one of the big four events in the FIVB calendar. Iran now level with Russia at 7 and 1, but ahead of them on sets 1 percentage. It's been a pleasure having your company for this one here today. There's plenty more coming from Ermia tomorrow. We'll see you then. Thank you for being a part of the game. Tam było dzisiaj na boisku. Również ciężko, ciężko było się usłyszeć. Mieliśmy kilka nieporozumień przez to, ale myślę, że z gry możemy być w miarę zadowoleni, bo długimi momentami wyglądało to dobrze. Jeszcze biorąc pod uwagę to, że graliśmy w dość eksperymentalnym składzie przeciwko pierwszemu zespołowi z Iranu, to, to z wyniku możemy być w miarę zadowoleni. Oczywiście przegraliśmy. E, sami czuliśmy, że, e, że mecz jest jak najbardziej do wygrania, ale, ale z tych momentów możemy się cieszyć dobrej gry. Jakie były te przełomowe momenty? Czego nam zabrakło w dzisiejszym meczu? Prowadziliśmy 2 do 1, no i wydawało się, że można ich tutaj wygrać, wygrać z nimi za trzy punkty. No tak, tak, mieliśmy inicjatywę przez, przez dłuższy moment. W trzecim secie fajnie odjechaliśmy i, i nasza gra naprawdę wyglądała dobrze. E, no ciężko mi powiedzieć teraz tak na gorąco, co, co się stało. Iran też trochę się odbudował w tym czwartym secie. Dużo lepiej zaczęli grać. My też parę takich głupich błędów, nieporozumień, ale to też wszystko wynika z tego, że praktycznie każdy mecz gramy innym składem. I, no i ciężko tak naprawdę o taką, taką komunikację między nami, jakbyśmy grali z sobą, ze sobą codziennie. Także no, możemy żałować, że nie udało się wygrać, bo było naprawdę blisko. Jutro Kanada. No tak, również, e, również przeciwnik, który, który gra bardzo solidną siatkówkę, i, ale myślę, że pokazaliśmy dzisiaj, jeśli potrafimy walczyć e, z Iranem e, w Iranie, przy ich publiczności, to, to również z Kanadą, niezależnie od tego, w jakim składzie wyjdziemy, będziemy potrafili, potrafili powalczyć. Marcin Janusz. Kuba Bobiszak, libero naszej drużyny. Kuba, dobra twoja gra wczoraj, dobra dzisiaj. 
nie wystarczyło. Niewiele brakowało dzisiaj przy, przy tej szaleńczej publiczności, przy Irańczykach grających w pełnym składzie, bądź co bądź, prawda? Ja myślę, że to nawet dzisiaj, że, że było lepiej, że, że ta nasza gra wyglądała lepiej niż wczoraj, bo, bo mimo, mimo tego, że Irańczycy grali naprawdę dobrze, nie poddawaliśmy się, no to nie możemy być zadowoleni, bo my jesteśmy zespołem Mistrzów Świata, to, to my powinniśmy tutaj wychodzić jak po swoje w każdym meczu i wygrywać. To na pewno boli, ale, ale cieszy to, tak jak pokazali, że po, cieszy to, tak jak powiedziałem, że, że pokazaliśmy pazur, że, że w tym piekle, bo, bo takiej publiczności to nie widziałem nigdy i podejrzewałem, że może mi się to nie powtórzyć w życiu. Naprawdę było, było grać bardzo ciężko. Tak, to na pewno zbierasz doświadczenie cenne, prawda, przy, przy takich meczach. Jutro będzie trochę, trochę ciszej w meczu z Kanadą, ale to my musimy być głośni, żeby tutaj zawalczyć jakieś punkty, prawda? Na pewno. Ja myślę, że tutaj jest grupa zawodników w tej reprezentacji 25, która jak wychodzi na boisko, to każdy walczy jak, jak, jak o życie, no bo, bo trzeba walczyć o miejsce w składzie tutaj u Vitala Heinena. Nic nie ma, nic nie ma za darmo. Jeżeli pojawi się moment y, słabszej gry, to od razu, od razu ląduje się w kwadracie. Także myślę, że każdy wyjdzie na maksa i, i odniesiemy pierwsze zwycięstwo w tym weekendzie. Widziałeś jakieś przełomowe momenty dzisiaj, y, y, takie, które zdecydowały o zwycięstwie Irańczyków? Mam wrażenie, że mieliśmy przestój na przyjęciu w czwartym secie. Irańczycy złapali rytm, przełamali nas, a później, później to już oni bawili się siatkówką i, i nie dali nam dojść do głosu. Dziękuję bardzo, Kuba Bowiczak.